Well, Mark, a two-all draw today. What's your thoughts on the performance? I think we're gutted. We're frustrated. Um, having led in the game um, for, for a large, large period of the game, you're always going to be disappointed. But um, again, the character and the endeavour is there. Um, you, we were so close, close to executing a great game plan. Um, and just gone loose on a couple of moments at key times. I mean, the goal before half time was, was a bitter, bitter blow because that would have been a good half's work um, if we could have. And we did, and we continued to show that in the second half for that large period, you know, all the way up to sort of the 87th minute. And, um, you know, we've been undone. But like I said, they got quality players everywhere and we nullified them for large parts and frustrated them for large parts and uh, yeah gutted not to get the game uh, you know to see out the win but sometimes you can't underestimate a point either. Let's talk about the starting lineup. obviously Brad Webb comes straight in for the suspended Kins and Alfie given the captaincy a great moment for him as well. Yeah and I think he with the, with the captaincy led by example again another goal captain's performance by him today he was he was involved in the thick of it and you know um, a typical Alfie performance so yeah delighted, delighted with him I know how proud he was to wear that armband as well and, and then Webby as well coming in, you know, two days training, hasn't played for six or seven months um, to come in and get 60 minutes out of him and the quality that he showed. I, I think it shows the quality of the group where we are now as well, that we've just almost dropped a, a stranger into the team and they have coped so well. And I think that's one down to them and their quality, but two, the structure of the group as well, um, you know, the organisation and everyone knowing their roles and responsibilities, uh, it, it makes debutants life a little bit, a little bit easier, hopefully. But yeah, he showed quality, set up the first goal as well so delight, delighted for him um, you know and and here we go now we we haven't lost the game which is the most important thing we straight raw after a game you're, you're always gutted I said we've gone loose on a couple of moments and been punished by some some quality by them um, but we're not we're not far away and I'm sure you looked around in the stand and saw how many people are sitting there in tracksuits watching it is more is more people than what we've got shirts on their back at the moment and for such a young team at the moment, I think our average age was 23 again today. Um, the, you know, the fight and the endeavour and the maturity that they're showing, um, you know, the, is, is commendable. And um, I'm, re I'm really proud of them at the moment. Um, but we've we've got to continue to want more, want to get better, and uh, not have those momentary lapses in concentration because we're getting punished for them at the moment. Sometimes you, you ride your luck a little bit and you don't get punished, but we tend to do it at the moment. But I said to the lads, that's a good thing because we can't go loose at all because if we do, we get punished. So that's going to make us stronger and better in the long run. And uh, the character they've shown in these last four games has been great. Uh, but we've got to continue to develop that and, and, and work hard in training this week um, to get better. Obviously, let's run through the game. Obviously, Ultracom have a bit of a spell, 20, 30 minutes or so, but then we hit them with a bit of a sucker punch. Great move down the left-hand side. Brad Webb involved and Corey Andrews sets up. Brad Webb to cross it for Alfie for another goal for him. Yeah, I think it's a fantastically worked goal. And again, it was, it was built from our defensive resilience that we showed so well in the first half. And... Um, you know where we are at the moment, and we have to show that first our defensive resilience, our organisation, and I think we showed that in abundance. And we felt that in the transition we we could hurt them, and we certainly done that and took our two goals, put ourselves in a great position. Um, and then it's just probably managing the game slightly better at, at moments. But again, for such a young side, you can forgive them at a moment, and and they're learning some harsh lessons along the way. And if we can learn some harsh lessons and not lose the game, then that's a, that's a positive. Yes, sir. But then, like you mentioned, the goal just before half time. Alfie spoke about it in his post match. It sort of changed the reflection of the second half, really, in terms of you know being wary of them getting another goal. And then, obviously, the 90th minute goal. It's something that we saw in the, in the start of the season, and then maybe starting to creep in today. Yeah, look, it changes the psychological feel of a game for sure. And uh, we've got to manage that, and we're learning to manage that. Um, and that's it. Altrincham, they've got a history of, of coming back in the games. I think if you look at a lot of their games, they, they've done that, and, and, and they've got quality. And that's what I said. You, you can't lose concentration. You can't lose sight of your game plan. And when your legs are tired and heavy, we've got to keep trying to think with a bit more clarity sometimes. And uh, like I said, they've done that for such large spells, which made it frustrated. But I said on, on the whole, we're improving as a group. We're getting stronger as a group. The character's growing, the confidence is growing, and we've got to keep stoking that fire. We've got to keep wanting more. And with the players to come back as well, um, it was going to be a lot of competition for places as well. And of course, you touched on it as well. Sure, sure it is. Um, you know, I think if you would have given us 10 points after the Wrexham game, um, we would have snapped your hand today but also buoyed by the uh, the attitude and the mentality of the group
of course another away game for us next week Eastleigh away a bit of a closer closer game for us yeah another another tough game um Shrev's has got a very experienced good good talented squad down there so we're gonna, gonna have to dust ourselves off work hard in training uh, make a few tweaks always look to improve and go and put our best foot forward on saturday Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.